Is E3 still the most important show in gaming? The answer is no. No. There's your title. Line, Kopai Snippets, Episode 25, Part 3. Thumbnail, Reggie with a pinata. And a thumbs down. <laughs> Nintendo is not bringing the NX to E3. There was a day. Is, it, is this your words? There was a day if you told anyone in the industry, is this all you or is this... Um, or do you, is this like... <clears throat> There was a day, yeah. No, this is not... That, that's a quote from the article. Quote from an anonymous source. <laughs> Do you know who it was? My Nintendo... Oh, yeah. no, the one I sent you. Okay. Yep. Um, so, back in the day, basically, is what the article is saying, is E3 was the king. E3 has yeah, always yep. been the king. If you wanted to get your gaming news, um, if you wanted to find out... If, if you, if the gaming public, if the gaming press, if the gaming stockholders, if the gaming other companies wanted to know about what was going on, E3 was the place to look. Nowadays, you have Nintendo Directs, you have PlayStation, or you have PlayStation Experience, you have um, the Xbox blog, you have Final Fantasy Uncovered 15, you have um, YouTube. You, G, yeah, YouTube. You have GDC, you have the Tokyo Game Show, you have PAX East, South, West, North, Central, the Video Space, Game Awards. Underwater, the Video Game Awards. Yeah. You have... Um, Comic Con, which now has gaming stuff. You have Awesome Con. You have, I mean, there's, and Space World probably coming back. I mean, you have, there's so many different outlets for gaming news. There's so many different times of the year. There's never a season when there's not a gaming conference. Yeah. E3's not the most important. Yeah. You could argue that it is, the, it's still the most, what would be the word? The most focused on but i think so much out of a habit out of a nostalgia yeah um well i think it's kind of like it's kind of like a day for gamers yeah sort of thing it's It's always been like um i feel like it may be convenient for developers or the industry to work towards e3 goals perhaps Mm. um that's always it's always something that people look forward to to the reveals and like a, a certain day when we can know for sure it's all dedicated to it um, I think that kind of maybe where it gets to more trouble is because people, they don't, I mean, while they, they like getting it all on the E3 day, they also like the little bits, the little E3s throughout the year. Mm-hmm. And those get bigger and bigger every year because everybody suddenly, they get excited about, oh, this is kind of like a little mini E3 where hopefully they reveal something really cool, but then when they reveal that something really cool, it potentially takes it away from E3. But yeah. like because they want to satisfy and like and now it's becoming so much more diluted with that that I think that it, yeah it's definitely taking away from E three, but it could still I guess be said that E three is that that main focus of every yeah. year it's a it's a thing to build towards it's a celebration of gamers it's that nostalgia <clears throat> factor it's I think though because now I think eventually the game awards is going to eclipse that I yeah. think you've we've already seen it with. Um, the announcements, the trailers, the reverence. I mean, you have like Greg Miller's speech at the Game Awards. Yeah. It was like such a huge deal. Mm-hmm. The whole Kojima versus Konami thing at um, the Game Awards was huge. Um, it's at the Game Awards that like back in the day they announced I mean, some pretty huge games. I think that's like where they announced like um, maybe The Last of Us or something or showed the initial trailer for that. I mean, which is huge. Mm-hmm. Um, they show off, they debut other things, they do world premieres at the Game Awards. And I think also you're having that same situation with PAX where there's just start, I mean, there's just so much. And that's why I say E3 is not the most important. Sure, it, it may still be, as you say, like it's the gamer day. It's this, it's probably the most popular still. Yeah. But EA and Activision or Activision um, – oh, yeah. EA, Activision, and Blizzard are all out this year. Blizzard, I mean, is Overwatch, Warcraft, everything. I mean, Activision is – usually has like a huge conference there and like mm-hmm. always talk about things and then ea obviously like always debuts the latest sports games yeah, the i think they have their own and, ea like separate yeah E3 and and rockstar i mean they haven't gone in the past but they're still not going um bethesda is back this year but it seems, elder scrolls is coming 
That's my you prediction know. for that. I think they've I, teased that. That I think it'll be Elder Scrolls. I think it'll be Skyrim remastered. Yeah, that's my speculation. Is yeah. that it's going to be a Skyrim remaster? Promise. I just hope they announce the next Elder Scrolls it's game. I'm ready for it. Too us. soon, man. I'm ready. Elder Scrolls on Nintendo NX. <laughs> I'll just I'll just say that right there, so you can put it in the subtitles, and then when people search for that, when it inevitably is announced, we're gonna be the first people to be found talking about it. And I'm like, wait, when did they talk about it? It's one sentence. Um, yeah, no, it's it's we st- we just got Far Haba for yeah, Fallout, and yeah. we need to. They still have other DLC planned for Fallout. It'll yeah, be a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> what is it? Six now? Yeah, six. Yep, coming out. Um, Plus, I mean, why would you even need Elder Scrolls Six if you have Elder Scrolls Online? Shut up! <laughs> a million, million different reasons to play. Um, but no, they're collectors. Yeah, I actually, I, I really would like to get back into that yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah. But there's just always so much to play. But no, I mean, I don't think it's the important anymore. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's as sad as it. Uh, a year ago, that would have broken my heart. You know, that would have been like E3, man. But now it's just, I mean. When I find out that there's, like, oh, PAX is this weekend, like, it's just, like, I can't wait. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, and I'm honestly, maybe... It's, yeah, it's the mini E3s throughout the year and stuff. It's yeah. Or it's just multiple E3s. Maybe yeah. Not I, mean, minis. I mean, I'm, I I would say, if it weren't for, like, the general hype that surrounds E3, I'd probably say, like, me personally, I'm more excited for the Game Awards this year. I want to see what Jeff Keighley does next. Yeah. I want to see, because every year they've always upped it, and they've always had, like, new shows, and that... That really is like a celebration of gamers, like where it's just like this is all fan service. This is all like why do we play? Like it's just like a reflection, and it's let's it's less businessy than everything else. Like E three mm-hmm. just yeah. um, can get so business, and just you have those people come out and they have to d- showcase their games because they have contracts and deals and stuff like that. And, and how so. many times did they come out on E three? You know, um, presentations and start playing a game and. There's technical difficulties yeah. or it screws up and they're embarrassed, you know, live in front of an audience on this live stream. There's a it's trophy like, in a game where you have to stand at a spot for so long and the trophy pops because at the E3 presentation of oh, it, yeah. they didn't work. And I, thought, I, think, I think stuff like that's cool. But, um, but yeah, that's why the Nintendo Directs was always so awesome because there was nothing yeah, like that. Right. Like you just yeah. snapped your fingers and it went. Um, but then they also brought that back, you know, the invitational and the treehouse, like that live aspect of it. And so, um, really, really cool, I think, mm-hmm. uh, to see how the gaming industry is evolving. Um, yeah. and I hope that, I mean, the only bummer part is, is that it was nice to funnel everything into E3, mm-hmm. Yeah. but it also just made for like a nightmare for the press and for developers alike to get it already just for that one week Yeah. with the modern way of like doing when, directs whenever they want, or I mean... Just de- a developers being able to announce whatever they want, whenever they want. Like Battlefield One being announced and it just taking control that day, because it was just like, oh, here's what we do. I mean, or even Nintendo, like just saying, like, hey, here's the name of the NX. Yeah, here's the next mobile media games. has evolved to a point where, yeah, if you have the exposure already, and you don't need E3 yeah. to get that exposure, then there's not, it's not as necessary. Because and then indies though, because you'd think, oh, then that means E3 can shine for indies, but indies get their chance in at packs and stuff, and so yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, E3 just turned into a very expensive, very unnecessary thing, mm. um, unless you want to do something like the Zelda experience, yeah, which you can only do at E3. So Nintendo's actually doing pretty well with that then. Yeah.